September, a very profitable first month for us. About 30K in the bank. Good amount of harvest, everything from contracts, a little bit uh, for loan payment, wages for our workers. Looking good so far, looking good. It was a very profitable, good month for us. We have our uh, favorite plowing worker going for it here. Actually getting pretty close. 96% done with this field. And it looks like our worker's gone. <laughs> I don't know where he got to. I, I don't blame him for leaving. Plowing is the worst. I, uh, and I'll stand by that. I think plowing is just the absolute worst. One of the worst parts of the game. Move real slow. Uh, they go at those weird angles. Just no, no fun to do at all. So we'll hire this guy. I mean, the, the, this guy looks like a Todd to me. I don't know what Todd's doing out here. I think he got lost on his way out of the city and ended up in farming country. I don't quite understand, but I'll let the man plow. I won't besmirch him too much. I'm really liking the look of this one. 25K for field 71. I think some cultivating contracts would actually be great because you just send them out to the field. They'll cultivate that whole thing. And while I work on this bailing, A little wheelie there, huh? Silage is what I want to be getting into on our farm. It was kind of my plan from the get-go. Some good early early eats, early money. So to see it, how it might look with bales at a large field like this one would be very interesting. I like I like those uh, I like those things billowing in the wind. Some good stuff right there. So it does not do a full windrow setup. Selected work mode, huh? Let me see here. Swath dropping. Left swath, right swath, wide spreading. Okay, so we can just windrow in one setup. So that's that's definitely what we're gonna want to do. So we only have to go through this one time. But this is uh, that I had a, I thought this had a windrow, but I'm such a noob that I just did not know. I got a little bit of a basic GPS setup going on because it's uh, old Leroy's tractor here actually had it built in. We're taking a look down here at this here GPS. Pretty fancy little tractor he's got here too. Look at all this. I mean, that's just good looking farming right there. Whew. Look at him go. Just looking over these fields and boy oh boy. These windrows sure are pretty. I am absolutely loving this mower setup. Oh, I see a bale. Making its way, making its way downtown. Now, the one nice thing here is it looks like I can just keep going. Like, I don't need to worry about stopping between bales. I do like that. Every time I've used the smaller balers, you gotta stop for each one. I gotta admit, there is something very therapeutic about bailing. Something about them just slowly sliding out every once in a while. But the one downside of these bailing contracts, very manual. Can't can't automate a lot with the uh, the AI. So next step, gonna have to pick up each one of these bales, which will be kind of annoying, and then load them up in the uh, in the trailer and go sell them. So let's complete that guy. That's just three thousand in the bank. Easy peasy. Two thousand three hundred. I mean. And we'll get them going on something else. I look down at my screen and uh, I got a bale trapped underneath. <laughs> this, is, this is the danger of uh, cruise control right here, boys. We'll get, we'll get her fixed up though. Now, don't cruise control and look at the map. You gotta go back over your own windrows like an animal. I actually need to take a look at our friends up the way. Oh boy, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. It's, uh, that's something right there. Potato wagon turned over on itself seems like a bad thing. Oh, looking good. All right, look at that. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is, whew. And yeah, we can come back for that later. Seems like every time we mess up, we drop a bale just right in the way. <laughs> oh man, that's a whole lot of feel, brother. It's gonna take some time. We're working for our money today. Picking up potato wagons on the damn side. Pumping out about a thousand bales. Still gotta wrap these some bitches too. I'm having a good time playing this though. Usually on farm sim, been a little bit of this, a little bit of that. No, no huge goal in sight, but this is a, a full-blown challenge. So I've been having a good time with it though. And if you've been enjoying it, please let me know. Where I offload this, huh? Is this guy over here? Where you want this, buddy? Oh, okay. They just want it dumped on a pile in their driveway, huh? 
I can't complain. They they you can do things however you want there, buddy. It's running running multiple operations here. Kind of the name of the game. I think this will probably be the last bale. But I got two bales in there that I want to be not in there. Why? How, how do I go about dropping them? Huh? Unload baler. Okay. There we go. Oh boy. That looked like it felt good. So we'll just get the next step going here. On to the wrapping. I don't exactly know how to do it first and foremost. So running into your own equipment seems like a bad start. I have to admit there is something something nice about watching them get wrapped up. While we get this wrapping going, or rather completely miss <laughs> the bale. That's pretty typical for us. Uh, I will look for some more contracts. See what see what else we can get going here. It's been our forte thus far, but we've been making we've been making good cash, good cashola. You know, out in that field, they they look like uh, look like little square marshmallows. You know what they look like? They look like that ice cream in an ice cream sandwich bar. Like you you get rid of the kind of cookie, the dark cookie that holds it in. That's what that looks like. Those really cheap ones. You know what I'm talking about? Who done scooped out all the ice cream, left it on this damn field? I mean, I'ma still eat it, but... Jeez. Watching a lot of videos and other content for Farming Sim, and it's just so funny how YouTube recognizes that. They've started feeding me a lot of real-life farming videos, which if you guys are watching this, you might be getting some of those too, but seeing a lot of the vehicles from Farming Sim being used in real life, it's, it's crazy how accurate this game actually is. Anyway. Just distracting myself from the crushing reality of having to wrap 10,000 bales. But it does look like we're done. Like, I don't think I see any more that haven't been marshmallowed. So I think I just get it right there, right? Look at that. Very friendly. It slides it right in. Oh, that's beautiful, honestly. Oh, I guess I should uh, put this away before I take out too much traffic, huh? Now, sale points here. Interesting. How does this work? Yeah, I did figure it out here. Apparently you just sell it right here. These containers unload these bales. All right, they are selling. Well, let's just, let's get nice and comfy inside our trailer here. Get these bales loaded up. Just so comfy here in this tractor. So comfy. Kind of scoot that one over, look at that. Getting very comfortable with our equipment here too. I mean, it feels like I've been here this entire month, entire month of September, in one man's field, earning my earning my monthly pay. Now, this contract must just be making him a ton of money to be paying me over 20k to do all this. These little vanilla cubes kind of got me hungry. If I'm being perfectly honest with you, who knew that uh, the grass wrapped up in a in saran wrap could be so 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 tasty so uh hunger inducing not see that coming in in, uh, in our story here but here we are get that contract complete oh ho, ho, ho. 12k just for me wow okay and that's not even all of them so this contract is gonna pay a lot of money we're making 23k just from the contract just made another 12k from selling and we got one more run i i, I wouldn't be shocked at another 10 15 right here uh, that's that is not a full trailer i don't know what i was thinking that's like half a trailer though transporting each one of these with a fork would be whew, <laughs> that'd be awful something nice about hitting it with your front tire sliding it back and just making it so it perfectly lines up all right coming in on our final delivery here all of this goes into our pocket. So that is very nice. Let's see the tire tracks from me today. All right, let's see here. Okay, another another 5K is very good. We will definitely be collecting that and our bank account is looking good. 580K started last month, making 30K. We're already, we're already making 50K this month. And they're really hoping I buy a roller. Uh, to be fair, this is a fantastic deal. This is a great roller. It is only 
17k 18k so so i'm dumb this is not a roller this is a disc arrow <laughs> uh we don't need to talk about it in my defense it looks real similar to the mega roll <laughs> and i was thinking wow that is a deal of a lifetime we can take a look at finances october was not a super profitable month we didn't have a lot of good contracts i ended up advancing time pretty quickly through there just kind of looking for a deal where our finances have been feeling a lot better after a couple of productive months there didn't really need to go super nose to the grindstone in october it was a bit more of a quiet month now i'm hoping this month is when we can start to see some deals because i the contract work it's interesting to see all these different things but i really would like to get started on my own my own little homestead I mean, not that AI workers don't even want to get driving this thing. I'm starting to think this cotton harvest was a bit of a bad idea. Okay, unload unfinished bale. Okay, we can we can do that. Okay, so we will be able to complete this. We're just gonna unload that unfinished bale. Oh wow, that is a big. Bail. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Special on sale. Oh, we do have a tractor on sale. So it does, I, we are going to want at least 200 horsepower. I was kind of hoping to get close to 300 horsepower with our um, with our tractor, but we'll see what we're able to manage. So that alone already disqualifies that. So I think go ahead and pass. That is too small and it can't even be upgraded either. We'll probably be speeding through the months a little faster than I have been, just seeing as all this contract work is just, while it's entertaining, I feel like I, I kind of want to get to the point where I can start doing my own stuff and kind of still be doing some contracts at the same time. So uh, we are above 400k here, so we have passed the total profits of 100k, which is pretty cool. All right, good morning, everybody. As you can see, it's a cold, crisp February morning. More interestingly here, I just went over to peruse the sales, and what do I see? Not a slurry distributor, not even a header, although this is a little interesting too, but I see this. Now, this is a very, very beefy tractor. Uh, excuse me while I uh, make sure we don't careen into a ditch. 52% off. I mean, 167,000 is a lot of money. Uh, that's like as much as I would pay for some land. But considering we got 420,000, a very nice number, by the way, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to do it. We haven't seen anything on sale. This is usually really expensive. I mean, 52% off. This thing is over 300 horsepower. 300, it starts at 355 and it can go up to 445. I might have to consider this one because this would really give us a, a uh, kick in the pants to get going here. I kind of like the whole how it's on the tracks. That is just it makes it look like a tank, which is which is cool. Now, the one downside is it does have a decent amount of hours. I guess it only has 13 hours, but it's 20 months old. But that explains the 52 percent discount. So the one funny thing about that tractor is that if I choose to mostly do silage, that is just, <laughs> that tractor is so overkill for anything you can do with mowing and planting grass. Like well, you do not need 350 horsepower for that, but it's pretty cheap, it, 100 and what, 60,000 for, for that amount of horsepower is really nice. Oh, good God. <laughs> ah, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Surely I didn't just cross multiple lanes of a freeway <laughs> going the wrong way. <laughs> it got completely hit in the side. Oh, man. Now, the other consideration is getting a combine. Well, that does feel weird to just own a header, but having to lease out the combine that it attaches to, which I do believe is the Rostel Mash. I, I couldn't even see that thing, mostly because I was, uh, you know, who was looking at their tablet? It definitely wasn't me. Definitely was not me. Now that's February. Just taking a brief look at some of the months we went by pretty quick. October, November, 
Didn't really do anything in December. It was a very slow month. January sold a few of those bales. So that's that's where that money came from. And then February was the same thing. That and some contract income. But yeah, things are things are looking up. No loans either. So you can I could float up to 500k of loans. The fact that I have close to a million dollars at my disposal, including that loan, is really nice. I think we could do some exciting stuff with it. This I think it's gonna happen very, very soon. If you look at the tractors that kinda are around that price range, we'll look at 170, only starts in 190. This one's very low though. This one 210 for 179,000. I mean, you can get some, some cheaper 190 horsepower ones, but you get the general idea. Granted, it is used, and the major downside is it is a bit slow at 24 miles per hour. While it definitely is a bit expensive, I'm really liking field 56 here, plot 18. It's already been cultivated and everything. It does have a few stones that we'll need to take care of, but it's looking really good. It's right across from the vehicle shop. More importantly, just up the road to the biogas plant, which is if I'm planning on doing silage here, it's really nice that it's just right up the road. On top of that, it's also got the oil mill right here. So if I want to transition this field or some of the surrounding fields, so let's say I wanted to move into 19 eventually, uh, I could easily do some oil production, which is kind of what I was thinking, maybe with some canola. Other thing that was in my consideration is there is a body of water right along the property. Only problem is it is a bit expensive at 266000 but with how our funds are looking right now, I have $428,000 and another... $500,000 we could take out in loans if we want to. I have no loans right now, which is very nice. I've made a decent amount of money, nearly 130,000 just in the short time that I've been doing all contracts. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on getting this guy and probably just getting some of the equipment that I'm planning on using a lot. I want to do grass silage uh, with a baler rather than a bunker. I might upgrade eventually to like a forage wagon bunker setup, but for now I'm intrigued by doing the bales. I actually enjoy doing those quite a lot. So I'm gonna need some sort of mowing setup. I definitely want to have a mowing setup that can automatically do windrows. I find that to be way easier. After that, a, a good baler. I have one in mind. It's gonna cost a little bit of more of a premium, but I think it's pretty well worth it. After that, some way to just transport them. So I'll probably be looking at the bale loaders. Since I'm likely just going to want to buy a baler, I'll probably end up just buying the trailer as well. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to get on here and I'm going to get this purchased. I mean, hey, let's uh, let's do this. Uh, we're buying our first land here. 428,000 in the bank. This costs 266. And just like that, we have a farm. So this is our land here. So the first thing I need to do is I need to weed this land. It, it does have weeds growing and that does affect grass growing. So I'm probably just going to get one of these guys. Just a little borrowing there. And what we're going to do is he's letting us borrow this as long as we get the contract done. So don't worry about that. I cleared it with uh, Isaac here. I told him I would let him borrow my copy of Binding of Isaac, so we're good. You can't use their equipment. Like, if I wanted to use that cultivator, it wouldn't let me if I wanted to use it on my own field. However, if you own the equipment that it's pulling, you were more than fine to use their tractors. So it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a, uh, you know, little trick you can do for weeding there. Oh man, I did not realize that pulls up the grass too. It's not actually what I want to be doing. <laughs> well, I guess I'm plant. I'm gonna have to plant the grass anyway, so that's really not that big of a deal. Let's double check here. So weeds are growing here. Weeds are not growing here, so this is working. Getting all these weeds out of our brand new field. It is. It is a uh, planting season. It is not planting season for grass. I I really don't know why I thought it was, but you can start planting next month. Which begs the question: Why did I buy this field already? Well. I got excited and I'm still probably going to buy that tractor. So this is a this is a whole lot of field. Uh, I'm starting pretty ambitious, but I think it'll pay off. It's a really big field. These are going to be some big harvests, but we're going to make money very quickly. This should be the only time that we need to weed this field. 
and unless we transition it to something else we are gonna be fertilizing this after every harvest at least once which you can do with grass just by using a roller one downside here is i really don't like that <laughs> house is uh so close to my field i suppose i could just move my field over a little bit but just makes it so it can't really go lengthwise at least for this part of the field should be all weeded now so we can let's turn that weeder back in we definitely don't need that anymore so we'll just go ahead and return that now i can finish this one out oh man it clears away the snow right as you do it that's pretty funny this one this should be easy enough i mean i'm doing a horrendous job but we're 98 percent completed so we're done with this one i think i'll go ahead and just turn that right in that is so weird. Uh, their field instantly became de-snowed as soon as I completed that contract. That's so strange. And going right through the snow, huh? You, you, you don't get hired every day as a farmhand to, to plow a field in the middle of a, a blizzard, but here we are. Oh, just like that. All the snow has melted away towards the end of the day. So after thinking it over for a while, while it would definitely save a lot of money and maybe be a little bit of cheese just to do the whole juggle contracts, use their equipment on my own field, I want my own tractor and also I think it would be hilarious to have this thing. It, there's This is just way funnier to have a, a tank tractor. Sure, it's a little slow, but who cares? The other thing is, did want to put a GPS in. That's going to set us back a little bit. So I'm realizing if we want the GPS, we are going to have to take out a little bit of a loan. doesn't feel good to take out a loan just for the tractor alone, considering I have a lot of other stuff I want to buy, but we'll be all right. Let's get this thing, get this thing going. License plate. I mean, you got to go with the custom license plate. I mean, there's really only one answer here. Let's be real. Ooh, that'd be looking good there. I mean, I think this is looking good. This is, uh, it's a big purchase, but it's very funny and also exciting. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting this. It's a Tater Man classic, as you can see. I think we're good to go. <gasps> and that's it. We now have a field and our very own tank tractor. I mean, look at this interior. Oh, man. This is fancy. I mean, let's turn her on. Look at that. We got our GPS freshly installed. Now, the one thing is it is a little bit damaged. I'm just going to go get that taken care of right away. I mean, man, look at this. This thing is a literal tank. It, this is hilarious. So we'll bring it in. We, it's got a little bit of repairs on it. It's got a few hours on it, but nothing, nothing we can't handle. So repairing is another 3000, but that's very, very worth it. We will not be repainting it because that is just crazy. Oh my god, driving this thing around is ridiculous. Bring it out to our field here. So oh, this is all our property right here. Parker in the grass, I suppose. So, I mean, there's not much else to do. This was definitely going to be leaving the shop. So I just wanted to go ahead and get that going while we still could. And we do have a bit of extra money. I think I'll just repay what we can on our loan. So we do have 20,000 in debt now. We have a big field and a big tractor. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with where we're at. We don't have a house, <laughs> but we're working on this contract. And yeah, I think uh, we're probably going to go to when we can start planting. I'll check the contracts. I didn't think there would be anything interesting, but uh, yeah, confirm. Nothing really interesting here. So not much to do until until March. So I'll probably be, just be seeing you around then.